talking to you today about ferro rods and I just wanted to make a few things clear for you because it's come up on a lot of the courses and training that I've run over the years that there's some confusion about what is a ferro rod, what its actual utility is and whether or not that is a survival skill. Now I do a lot of hiking, a lot of walking, a lot of walk about. I use a ferro rod almost every day and I don't use it as a survival item. It's just how I like to fire. That does one thing very importantly for me. That takes it out of the realm of breaking glass in case of emergency, do this complex task, or semi-complex task, under duress, remove that to, this is something I do every single day of the week. So this is just habituized. There's a big difference in that. Because when you start to do this stuff under pressure, that will make the difference between success and failure. Now a ferro rod, I've watched some videos and stuff on YouTube, I've been a bit ticked off about the approach some people have with these things. A, the first one is that this is a survival tool. I call BS on that. This is a fire lighting tool. You can use a big lighter and a box of matches in survival capacities. How you achieve fire in survival has got nothing to do with the tool that you're utilizing. This is also often referred to as a flint and steel. A flint is a piece of rock and a steel is a piece of high carbon metal. This is a mixture of iron and magnesium. It produces a beautiful strong spark with ease and it's a high grade spark. So it'll go into most tinders and result in a flame. It doesn't need to be put into a tinder ball and blown into flame. Subtle difference, but a key difference. In terms of actually using the device, I've watched people sit there and tell people that you must pull back, you must push forward, you must do this. Well, I disagree strongly with this word must. If it works, it works. And something in my world is either effective or it's not effective. There's no, you must do it this way, you must do it my way, you must do it his way. Make your own choice up, use your brain, and do what actually works. Now if you're injured, or you're weak, or heaven forbid you've been without food for a while and your muscle coordination, your refined motor skills actually eluding you, locking this down against the ground and pulling back a spark is probably a good idea. If you're a small child or a young, a young lady and you don't have the physical strength in that particular time and moment, to be pushing off big sparks then, pull it back. You get a spark in either case. That's the magic of such a simple tool. So why don't we dispense with all the must and this is the how and this is that and work on, let's just get, get by what we've got. The best knife you have in any situation is the knife you've got. The best fire lighting tool in any situation is the one you've got. So that's a ferro rod and you should carry one all the time and you should use it to light your fire all the time. Just food for thought. Happy wandering. <laughs>